Having a good morning? morning. All right. So uh, we are here in the Thar Desert, and uh, this was our camp where we stayed last night. And, uh, you know, not the most positive experience staying in this camp because of the owner. I mean, they were really nice before we gave them the money, but once they got the money, you know, uh, the attitudes changed. So anyway, if you're coming here, uh, do not recommend Rajasthan Adventure Resort. I mean, yeah, I mean, it was okay. It wasn't the best experience, but regardless, today we're gonna head to the Pakistan border. We're very close to the border here in Jaisalmer. So we decided we've got some scooters. So we decided why not go to the border, see what the villages near the border are gonna be like and uh, what the people in living in those villages are gonna be like. And we'll try to get as close to the, to the border as possible. Um, I assume there's gonna be the Indian army. Uh, we can't prob we probably won't be able to get too close, but uh, we'll see, we'll see how far we get. So uh, let's go to the border. So this little machine right here is our, is our uh, transportation for the day. That's Sergio's. This one over here is mine. So they're the same, same kind of bike. The only problem with these is that uh, the fuel tank is only three liters, so you can't carry a lot of fuel. So we're gonna have to find a petrol station, uh, which is at the next town, which is called Sam. And then from Sam, we're gonna head to the Pakistan border. Let's see what happens. Here's a key to my little scooter. I'm not gonna be selfie driving because, you know, it's not safe. And uh, not on this thing and going. Yeah, definitely not on this thing. 80, because this thing it, it wobbles quite a bit if you're going too fast, so. Check this out. We're in the middle of nowhere. So, we are on our way, on the road, to Pakistan, to the Pakistan border. It's uh, a little bit further up ahead this way. We keep going on this way. But for a while, it's been like this. There's nothing around. And there's, uh, you know, little tiny settlements here and there, but not much going on. So, yeah, it's been amazing. The road's pretty, pretty narrow, but at least the truck drivers that are here are pretty nice. They give you a lot of space to pass as they uh, pass you by. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, we are in no man's land. I mean, even Google Maps doesn't show a lot of the villages and settlements that we have here. Oh man, it's hard to talk, it's so cold. My mouth is frozen, my face is frozen. But yeah, we're gonna keep going. And uh, yeah, you can already kind of tell, I mean, there's a lot of the settlements that we saw on the way, the people look like they're from Pakistan, you know? It already feels like we're in Pakistan. So uh, let's keep going and uh, find the last village before the border if we can get there without getting killed. We got a bunch of wild camels that I just spotted. Look at those guys. They're eating. They were rubbing against the trees. These guys don't have any tags or anything on them or no ropes or anything. They're wild camels, look at that. They saw me and they're, I guess they're spooked by the people. But that's, uh, these guys are the real Pakistani or Desert camels, wild ones. All right, let's go. Let's keep going. So the key to selfie vlogging is to go really slow and to be on a road with uh, minimal traffic and uh, amazing visibility like this. I mean, look at this place. We're on the road to Pakistan. I'm fucking excited. <laughs> Man, what is it gonna be like? I hope uh, we don't run into army, uh, the Indian army and uh, get sent back before we hit the last village, but uh, we'll see. Look at these sand dunes. Beauty, absolutely beautiful. Hell yeah. Wow, this is amazing. Selfie vlogging, not the safest thing to do, but uh, I'm not going very fast, so 
Let's go to Pakistan. What is going to happen at the border? What do you think? Are we going to get shot down? Shot by Pakistani, Pakistani army? Shot by the Indian army? Or shot by a terrorist? Border terrorist, maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. What a way to spend my last day in Jaisal Mare. There's some more wild camels in the distance. I don't know if you can see them. There's five of them. Wild camels. And we have a little settlement over here on the right. More sheep. Onwards and upwards. People are so nice out here. I guess because, you know, they're not living in huge populations and, uh, you know, people are generally appreciative of uh, other people and outsiders visiting. Um, so far, I've been getting smiles and hellos from like everyone that I've seen on the road. So it's, it's a really good feeling. But uh, yeah, people in the cities are not like that at all. If you smile at them, they're like, they probably think there's something wrong with you. There's some farmers working out there. All right. So let's uh, let's go and find this find this little village. Man, there are people working there, calling out and saying hello. That's pretty awesome. So I think uh, we're about 30 kilometers away from the border. So far, I haven't seen, uh, I haven't really seen any uh, border security or any Indian army, anyone like that. But uh, I guess we will soon run into one of them. There's soldiers, stop talking to somebody here. Let's see what's going on. How are you? What's your name? Name? Nam? Dadu. Dadu. Ashish. Nice to meet you. that go uh, go in many directions but uh, none of those are on Google Maps so we really are in the wild wild west here the western mo most part of India way beyond Jaisalmer I think it's about uh, 120 kilometers uh, from Jaisalmer okay, we have one more little settlement here the houses look uh, look nothing like any other settlements. I mean, over here on the right, you have little um, modern looking houses, even more down there. But here, you have these little primitive uh, desert huts. Yeah. There's no out here. That's pretty, pretty intense. Here we have a little guy. Hello. How are you? Good. This is your home? Your village? Can I see? No? No? Can't see? What's your name? Name, Nam. Huh? Harabdin. Ashish. <laughs> this is your, uh, your gown? Gown? Danana. Okay. So apparently this village is called Danana. And here are the kids of the village. Hello guys. Good morning. You speak English. Hello. How are you? What is your name? Name. Nam. Abdullah. Abdullah Ashish. Ashish. This is Danana. Huh. Very good. How many uh, people in the village? Kitne log? Gaon mein kitne log? Nahi pata. Nahi malum. Ye bhi Danana. This is Danana. Danana. New? Naya? Old? New? Pata nahi Okay. 
Okay. Very nice. Nice to meet you. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> All right. So those are the uh, little kids of the village of Danana, which is one of the last settlements before the uh, the Pakistan border, which is uh, in this direction. The only uh, concern that we have is the tiny little tanks on these scooters uh, only hold three liters of petrol. So if we run out of petrol in the middle of nowhere, we'll be stranded here and uh, we'll have to probably, um, you know, get some help and it'll take up a lot of time and we have to be back in Jaisalmer by three. So, <laughs> all right, they don't, okay, so we've been here they don't speak English, but the they're here. Photo? Photo? <laughs> here's a here's an elder coming I guess. We have all the sand dunes, untouched sand dunes back in the back there. And I guess here they have the new houses that they're building. But yeah, it's pretty pretty desolate and uh Really, really nice. Look at all the people have come out of the village of Danana. <laughs> A lot of kids in the village. Hello, sir. Hi. How are you? Hi. This is your village, Danana. Very nice. This is also Danana? New, new buildings? Yes. Okay. Same village buildings? Okay. Hi, how are you? More village after this? More? Can we go? Okay. So I guess we can proceed. However, the only concern, like I said, is the fuel, which we don't want to run out of. So this is what it's like, life here. We just live out in the, in the desert, I guess. And uh, the pretty primitive style desert homes back there. So the people said we could keep going and they did say that there are more little settlements up ahead and a fuel station. Hello. 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 It's okay. Well, they were offering me something. Man, people are really, really friendly here. Super nice. So, yeah, we're gonna keep going and uh, hopefully you'll find a fuel station and then we got a long ass way all the way back to Jaisalmer. Ooh, it's gonna be a long ride. But it's fun on this little scooter. It's a fun little scooter and the roads are amazing. So, what more can you ask for? Can you even hear me? I mean, do I have to speak up? I probably do, huh? But look at the desert. We are in the desert near the Pakistan border. So the border, the actual border is about 10 kilometers away. So I'm a little weary about, um, you know, the Indian army or somebody, the border security coming out and, uh, you know, sending us back. I mean, they probably will if they do catch us. So uh, let's see what happens. I guess we're gonna keep going for now. So we are here at the first, India's first line of defense at the border security. And we have a little, uh, got a little uh, security checkpoint over there. So we're gonna try and talk to them and see if we can go any further or if we have to turn back. So let's go talk to them. I guess uh, we got to go back from here. We got the petrol station. Some. Some? Okay. So I guess that's the only one. So this is our turning point. The border check post. We have the Indian Army. <laughs> Alright, so let's go back. Alright, so we were at the border checkpoint and uh, we were asked to turn around. So I guess that's as far as you can go towards the Pakistan border. 
And uh, so it looks like Danan is actually the last village before uh, the border. So past the checkpoint is the border and uh, you can't really get in unless you have a, a visa for Pakistan, which we neither of us do. So yeah, that was it. Uh, you know, that's our Pakistan border adventure, I suppose. So yeah, I guess uh, nobody tried to kill us. Nobody tried to, uh, no snipers, as I was expecting. We didn't get uh, handcuffed by the army. They were nice, they just said you gotta turn it around and uh, go back. So that's as far as you can come to the Pakistan border on this side of uh, the country from Jaisalmer. There is another border up, uh, up north where you can get closer, but uh, it's too far for us to venture into for now. So, uh, so yeah, that's it for the, that's it for our adventure, for the Pakistan border adventure. All right, let's head back to Jaisalmer now. Of Jodhpur. We just arrived last night or this morning actually we reached here at uh, like six or six in the morning. We went straight to our hotel that we had booked the previous night and uh, yeah we just left. We just woke up now. It's the afternoon. We're heading out to find some food. So the hotel guy said that there's uh, there's a place which makes the best omelets in Jodhpur. So I think we're gonna check that out. But yeah, this is a little tour of the of the blue city with the blue buildings. A lot of the buildings here are blue because Jodhpur is the blue city. So now we're gonna go and find the uh, the omelet place near the uh, near the clock tower. Look at this alleyway. So let's go find it. Walking down the street in Jodhpur, and we see a random elephant. Elephant with graffiti on its body, painted on. You're dead. Let's get a new battery. You got like ten of them. <laughs> Look at this. Twins. Except this one's more beefed up. All right, there's a there's an ox, and there's an elephant. Just chilling. Just chilling by the lake in Jodhpur. The things you see. I mean, to be fair, we also saw some elephants on the road in uh, Jaipur. So, nothing new for Rajasthan. I thought camels were the thing here, but apparently it's also elephants. We got all kinds of animals. I think this was from a temple. Some things of worship have been thrown on the floor. So yeah, you don't normally see that, but apparently that's the case here. Here I have some cows having lunch. Got rice, got so many options to eat. But you know what cows on the street means. When a cow down on the road, you gotta watch out where you step. Gotta be careful, unless you wanna step in poop and try to get poop off your shoes for the next or the next couple hours. It's not an easy thing to do. I've, I've had to do it before, trust me. So I think we're by the clock tower now, and uh, there's a plenty of places to eat here, but we wanna find the omelet place. So there the, there's the clock tower right there. There's the entrance to the clock tower. I guess this is kind of like a market around the clock tower. And even on the inside, you have a lot of shops for uh, all kinds of things. I mean, clothes, food, 
Lossy. Look at that. I guess there's a road, people coming in and out. Look at the tuk tuk. There's road for tuk tuk. Famous Lassie shop. There's a famous Lassie shop. Should we try Lassie's? There's a clock tower, the Jodhpur clock tower. And we have some food stalls over here. I think the Alma place should be around here somewhere. Maybe you need to ask around. Find out where the omelet place is. The best omelets in Jodhpur. All right. Lassies are pretty cheap here. 20 rupees, it says over here. I need, some, uh, I need some food in me before I can start talking and have some energy. And it's getting hot. It was so cold at night when we arrived here. But uh, now it's really hot. So a lot of big temperature difference between day and night because of the desert. Look at these bangles here. I guess we need to ask somebody where the omelet place is. Hello. The omelet shop. <laughs> no? No. They don't know. You gotta ask one omelet of these. Shop? <laughs> you look up, you look it up. Uh, it doesn't show on Google. Let's ask these ladies, beautiful police from ladies. Excuse me. Is there is there an omelet shop here? Famous omelet shop, Jodhpur's best omelets. I don't know English. No English? Okay. <laughs> they sit right here locally, right close. Over there? Okay, thank you. See, that's how you know when they don't know English <laughs> and they respond to you after yeah. you ask. Yeah, even them. though you ask them the question in English, they respond to it. And, uh, yeah. Well, more cows on the street. Which is pretty normal. This one's marked. Oh, she sent us to the tourist assistance booth. <laughs> I guess you didn't speak English, huh? Sent us to the assistant booth. But uh, we need to find omelets, so. Look at that, over there is the Marangar Fort of Jaipur. In the distance, over the hill, right there, you can see. We'll definitely be going to explore that later. Maybe later today, maybe tomorrow. We've got a couple days here, so we'll see. Yeah, so that's the famous clock tower and the uh, Mirangar Fort. We gotta go back. Go back? Through the gate and right on the right hand side. Okay. Look at that fort. Yeah. This is the Mirangar Fort. The Mirangar Fort. It's one of the biggest forts in biggest forts in Jodhpur. People going about their day. These ladies selling colorful, colorful saris and other clothing items. I don't imagine you have to bargain very hard in these markets. If you want to buy something from here, it's probably going to be super cheap. There's a famous lossy shop recommended by whatever. So maybe after uh, the omelets, we can come by for a lossy. Local market this way. You see outside? Yeah. Okay. So that's where we came from. We didn't see one, but let's go check it out. Maybe we missed it. The hunt for the omelet shop. Oh, there it is. We walk right past it. The omelet shop. There you go. Let's try some of the. The menu is in Chinese. How are we supposed to read that? I, don't know. <laughs> I think that's something else. The omelet shop. There you go. Lonely Planet. So I guess uh, we gotta wait for our spot. There's only one place to sit down. 
What kind of uh, omelets do you have? I have many different types of omelets, sir. Do you have a menu? Oh, they have a menu. All right, highly recommended by Lonely Planet. Yeah, we heard about your shop. It says the best omelet in Jodhpur. Which country you come from? We are from India. Yes. India. Yes. Which part? Delhi. Got plenty of options. So the shop is just this little part right here. The other one is a is a recharge shop for the phone. But the omelet shop is like. And here's another menu for the omelet. Different kinds. I think I'm gonna try the. Uh, I'm gonna try the masala cheese butter omelet. That sounds good to me for now. But this is how the best omelet in Jodhpur is made. How long have you had your shop, sir? Shop started since 1974. 1974. Wow, that's I'm older senior. than me. My father is senior. Okay. He's omelet man. He's just coming. He started the shop. Yeah. He's this is your father. Yeah, okay. So that's the man behind the famous omelet shop, and now his son has taken over and making the best omelets. So who makes the best omelet, you or your father? My father makes better than your me. Your father makes better? Okay. <laughs> so here's the man behind the omelet shop. Hello, sir. He's just coming to work. But I'm sure uh, he does a great job as well, so we don't care who makes the omelets. There's the masala. The man himself making our omelets. So we got lucky, I guess. Huh. We got to take over. Yeah, he just came and took over. The master chef at work. Recommended by Lonely Planet, TripAdvisor. They're spreading the cheese. Oh, is that mayo? There goes the masala. There's the bread. Is that ours or somebody else's? We'll find out. Yeah. It's not ours. We gotta wait. We'll have the master chef make the entire omelet. It's meant for us. The best omelet made by the best man. And after those two, the next city we are going. We don't know. We haven't decided. We just you came. You need somebody with a taxi for one way. Like I think we're going to take scooters. 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 Yeah. We are going to around Jodhpur. Uh, around Jodhpur. Around Jodhpur. See Jodhpur. Yes. I think either rent a scooter also. You also rent scooters? Do you have two? I have a motorbike one scooters. Okay. We want scooters. How much uh, do you rent them out for? 350. 350 for one day? One day. Okay. It's the same price, but one do you want to... One one motorbike. Okay. Can you arrange two scooters? Any chance? No? I guess we had a lot of people before us. <laughs> Alright, so after waiting for, how long was it? 15 minutes? We got our omelets. 
And you already took a bite. What do you think? It's good. It's good? Really good. All right, so I'm going to try it. Probably the best it goes from. It's very hot for me. I'm going to let it cool down for a second. But I'm sure it's good. Let me just uh, break off a piece of the omelet. Oh, yeah. And the cheese makes it so much better. There's our Pepsi. Even though we asked for Coca Cola. Yeah, the almost pretty good. There's a reason why there's the best almond shop in Jodhpur. Oh, which one? So, definitely gets a thumbs up from me. More elephants on the street. Right by the armor shop. We just finished up our omelets and uh, definitely, definitely was worth coming here and getting one. They gave us two different flavors. I preferred the first one, which was the cheese and butter omelet. Best omelets in Jodhpur. So, uh, two omelets and uh, two Pepsis cost us 160, which is pretty reasonable, I would say. And uh, the best omelet shop. If you want to visit the best omelet shop, just come by the clock tower towards the entrance, and it's right to the left of the clock tower. So that's where you find the best omelet shop. It's a small little shack, so you might have to look. Uh, you might miss it at the, on the first first go. So. We just walked right past it the first time and then we came back, so. Okay. See All right, guys. guys, see you. So what do you want to do next? So maybe... I, my brother export in the spices. Okay. Many, many different, in the 100 different quality in the spices. Jodhpur, Jodhpur in the Rajasthan, yeah. very famous in the chicken tikka masala. Chicken tikka masala. Oh, okay. chicken, chicken tikka masala. Rajasthan very famous in the masala chai. Right. You know the masala yes, chai? Yeah. This my brother export in the all kind of country in the spices. Oh. England, New Zealand, New Zealand, Europe, Europe, America, in the Australia, America. This my brother export in the spices. Very good. Good this business. This my brother shop in the MG Spices. Recommended Lonnie plan here. Over there? Just look, give you my business card. Oh, oh it turned there. out to be a tout for his brother. <laughs> hmm. I forgot the name of what this was called, but I guess this is used to make some kind of a... some kind of a spice. This is a fruit and vegetable market of uh, Jodhpur, near the clock tower. Here's his brother's shop, MG Spices. Check out these spices right here. That's for free shopping. Oh, I'm, I'm about to sneeze, enter this. Enter this yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. Let's, we'll, we'll come, we'll be around tomorrow. I mean, yeah, yeah. We're tired today. Yes, Ooh, saffron. saffron. Wow. The guy who nice. bought your saffron. Your trip advertising advisor. trip advisor. Let me see the saffron. Australia. But yeah, I guess they're doing good business. Exporting the stuff all over the world. Have some rice, some lentils, pasta looks like, more pasta. Salo. Yeah. You're saving in the hair salo? Yeah. This uh, clock tower, this here is the... No, I, I took something. I just... Because we just got here, we just woke up like an hour, like an hour ago from a long trip. 
We're gonna be here tomorrow. We're gonna be on the clock tower. We'll be back here tomorrow. Yeah, today we want to rest. We are tired. So. Yeah, but thank you. We'll, but thank we'll you very much. We'll yeah, we'll come here. We'll be here to make more, make some videos. Yes. Okay. We'll come back Just here promise. tomorrow. Huh? Promise? Yes. Yes. We promise. Tomorrow. This is my shop in the vegetable. Yes. I remember. This is my shop. Yeah. Oh, this remember. is my brother's shop in the fabrica. How many brothers do you have? Two brothers. This is my shop, my brother's shop in the fabrica, Arman in the taxi. Okay. Alibaba Indico Towser. Okay. You know the India very famous silk emerald in the sari. Okay. This cotton in the fabric. This shop here. Yeah. Okay. Give okay. me my brother business card. No, no, we'll, we'll oh, be back come tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow we'll be All back. right, thank you. He just abandoned his shop just to show us around. <laughs> Oh, we got puppies on the road. You gotta be careful with all the traffic coming in and out. Puppies. Uh, I'm sure they got hate to see a man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a dangerous spot for puppies to to hang out. But yeah. Careful. But this is where all the uh, local people from Jodhpur come to do their vegetable shopping, I guess. And buy all their masalas and everything else they use to cook. So, a lot of spice shops. A lot of people are selling spices and that seems to be one of the uh, primary businesses out here. People selling all kinds of stuff. So we're in the uh, vegetable market now. I think the way to get out is... I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm not sure where we are. We gotta go back and find our hotel. More vegetables. I think it's that way. The exit. Let, let me go down here. Okay. Isha Silk. There's a leather shop bag. Yeah, my mom's looking for a leather. <coughs> right, right, you did mention that. You have leather purse? Yes, sir. Can I see a leather purse? Leather shoes. The men and women. Leather purses right here. Leather bracelet. Bracelets? Bracelet? No, my mom. purse. Bigger. Bigger. Like. Smaller. Oh, they got cameras. Old school camera. Smaller. Same thickness. Smaller. Same thickness. The 1,000 rupee note. The infamous 1,000 rupee note. Doesn't exist anymore. It's not worth anything. But maybe in a while, it'll be worth something in the museums. Yeah, a lot of leather goods in this shop. Here, you need a... You need a diary? That's some uh, That's currency. That's an actual nice one, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've been wanting, but I want a smaller one, though. It's one He's I got them right here. Oh, yeah. I might actually buy one. How much are these? $250? 250 That's too much. This is 150 Oh, yeah, let me see that. This is, I like oh, the smaller dude, these one. Are, these are nice. Yeah. Handmade papers. Oh wow. Can you do a hundred? Good price. Come on man. Let's do help no me. No high price, up or down price. No. Help me out. <laughs> good price is good. Do you have anything for a hundred? Any smaller for a hundred? Hundred. This is the smallest one? This is the smallest one. Is this the same price? Yes. A bit fancier. Same kind of paper. That's the one you had in your hand. Yeah, that one. Cool. What do you think? Should I get it? Look at that one. Oh, that one. It's got a lock on it. <laughs> Polish it up.
How much? 150. 150. What about if you get two? Okay, we got a discount for two. What price? Limit. If you buy two. How much if you buy well, two? Well, there's a shop right here we can look at. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I'm looking for like a bag for my mom. So. We also have some uh, hippie outfits for you to transform yourself when you come to India. You see a lot of foreigners do this. They come and uh, buy these tie-dyed outfits and become hippies. All right, we'll check the other one. Look at this little art shop here. Bronze line. Do these look like incas? Entry. I don't see anything anywhere. No. It's just uh, little models of stuff. The Buddha under a tree. Do they have Bob Marley? <laughs> Smoking oh, brick leaves. Oh wow. Look at this. It's uh, Ganesh. Is that the price? What is that? No, you know, how many it's digits? Just numbers. Is that? Yeah, probably the model number, huh? Look at this man, traditional Rajasthani guy, guy with a with an arm for vlogging. Look at this. He can hold the camera. This guy. He could be like, yeah. <laughs> Check out this little scooter we're about to rent to ride around Jodhpur. It'll fit perfectly for me. He does. Check out this little dress here. The back of the Viagra Man shop. That has that. Little <laughs> That's what they got. They got these traditional. Oh, he can loan us his. Grab this tiny hat. He can loan us his bike. Yeah, we can take your bike. So, Your yeah, bike. I have bike also. Yeah, we can so take it. Personal bike. Yeah, we can borrow it. I don't like it. Uh, which hotel you stay, brother? Huh? Very close. Mirvana. <laughs> oh, Maharani. <laughs> Introduce yourself to you. <laughs> don't be shy. She's a shy <laughs> Maharani. Like, you can't do that. She's a shy Maharani, so yeah. she doesn't want to be on video. No, you're not. All right, so change of plans. I think instead of going to the fort, we met this nice young man who's gonna take us uh, to the desert. I don't know if he's nice yet. He's yeah, we'll find out. Me. We'll find out. I mean, I mean, he seems nice, but we'll find out. Yeah. So for uh, prices that cannot be disclosed until later, we're probably gonna head to the desert. We're gonna find if we can find cheaper scooters so that we can stay in the desert overnight, see some local villages, find some you know, enjoy some cultural programs, as he said. And uh, yeah, and come back tomorrow morning. So we're back at Jaisal Bike. We were just here, we were... all right. Maybe he knows somebody there, he could hook us up. So that's the plan, let's see. Let's see what we could uh, get as transportation to the, to the village. I think, uh, Rajasthan or Jaisalmer is full of people with witty, witty signs. Look at that. Make your boyfriend less ugly. Is that a dress for your boyfriend? I don't know. Could be. Doesn't look like uh, something a man would wear, but I guess it is. Check out some of these other uh, signs that they have. <laughs> this is pretty typical. Make your home more beautiful. Bill Clinton, Monica Lewinsky blanket. Make your noisy, make your bed more noisy. Every Kama Sutra position possible on this magic bed sheet. 
and the Viagra one. All right, so everything seems very official here. They have a little map of Jaisalmer. So you gotta fill the petrol first. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be an automatic uh, little scooter that looks kind of like an electric scooter, but it's not. So we're almost ready to head out now. It's about uh, 3.20. So hopefully we'll reach the desert before the sunset. So I think it's about an hour away, so we should be good. Hey, that's my scooter. Yeah. Who's that man? That man's on my scooter. All right, so finally, that's the helmet. And this is the tiny little scooter. Welcome to the desert of Jaisalmer. Check it out. We're still on the road. We drove all the way here on those tiny little scooters. And here we are. Right at the sand dunes. You gotta watch out for traffic here too, even though, even though we're in the desert. You gotta watch out for traffic. I feel like my shoes are gonna be filled with, with sand by the time I'm done here. But look at this. The sand dunes of Jaisalmer. So this place uh, where we are at right now is pretty close to a place called Sam. So, uh, yeah, it's about uh, 40 kilometers from the city of Jaisalmer. So we had to get these uh, scooters. We got, a, we got a camp here. So we're all set for tonight. So the camp included um, food, accommodation, you know, a cultural program, some sort of a traditional dance, and uh, breakfast for tomorrow morning, and uh, you know, sleeping under the stars because we wanted to sleep uh, in the desert. So all of that we got for 2,000 rupees for two people. And that's not 2,000 per head, that's uh, 2,000 total for two people. So that 1,000 rupees, which is a pretty great deal because they started with uh, 3,500 and we haggled them down to uh, 1,000 at the end because, you know, we cut out a lot of things that were, had a lot of things included like camel safari, jeep safari, like that. So we cut most of those things out and uh, brought them down to 1,000 rupees. And uh, yeah, here we are. You can actually, you don't really have to do that. You can just come here, show up. There's so many camps here that you can uh, very easily find accommodation with food and uh, everything else included. So yeah, it's pretty beautiful out here. I mean, somebody peed there, I think. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, this just just sand dunes. This, as far as the eye can see, it's pretty incredible. There are a lot of people here, um, but you know, as to be expected, we're right at the right in front of the camps. But uh, we can even drive down further. But uh, there's more people as you go further in. So yeah, here we are at the sand dunes. Wow, it's amazing. We got a couple beers here on my bag. So we're gonna open these beers up, have a couple beers. Maybe if we get a good deal on the uh, camel safari, we'll take, uh, take them on the offer. But for now, check it out. There's still trash there, there's the plastic bottle, all kinds of plastic things. But uh, it's pretty incredible. This is my first time, even though I've been to Jessel May before, first time at the sand dunes, so. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Oh man, my feet keep getting into, sunken into the soil. Look at this, a convoy of Harley Davidson motorcycles. These guys have been riding around. I don't think it's just these guys, there's just a lot of people with uh, super bikes and big uh, motorcycles. Old people with a lot of money, I suppose. Yeah, soon enough, we'll have uh, one of our own instead of these shitty little scooters that I've been driving here. And uh, yeah. All right, we're gonna, I think, head into the, uh, into the dunes and uh, open, up, open up some beers, take some photos, and uh, enjoy our time here. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Hello, Camel. Are you treated well? I hope so. They wanna take us on a Camel ride for 200, but uh, I'm not, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do that because I'm just not a big fan of uh, how I've seen these people treat the camels. 
I mean, and I'm sure that's not everybody, but you know, yeah, they're, uh, they've, I've never seen them be very nice to these camels and uh, you know, I don't know, maybe they're, that's obviously not gonna be everybody. Some of these people do genuinely love uh, these animals and take good care of them, but you know, yeah, after what I've seen in the past, I just don't wanna, you know, yeah, support them. I mean, I'm, I, they're doing pretty well. Everybody's fucking riding camels. Oh my god! Okay? Almost got run over by the camel. Huh? No, I'm okay. Thank you. Jesus Christ. I was taking photos. This man just ran up on me. All right. Man, what a place. What a stunning place. Definitely, definitely recommend if you're in coming to Jaisalmer, don't do what I did last time and skip out on the desert. Even though I tried going to a place which was supposed to be in the desert, but it wasn't really in the desert because there were no sand dunes there. But I guess it was kind of desert. Kind of a desert, but not really because there's no sand dunes. Deserts need to have sand dunes, you know. So now we are here. And it's pretty incredible. There's camel poop everywhere, but uh, that's fine. Yep. Look at that man. Evil Americans have taken over the camels. Hindi, <laughs> Hindi. Yeah. Back. Sunset point. For, for sunset point. He's gonna take you to the sunset point. How far? Oh, where sunset point? Over there. Huh. Okay. Where is the bappies? Yeah, he'll take you. So he's gonna take you up that dune and bring you back. Well, we're losing light. So after sunset, we return back to our location. Yes, sunset point. This? I thought that was sunset point. Huh? That is sunset. Boka point. Boka point. Yes, sunset magic. He's, he's gonna rip you off, dude. What's my camel's name? Name. Camel's name. Rite Groshen. Rite Groshen, that's the name of every camel here. Rite Groshen? Rite Groshen. It's like a Bollywood actor. Huh? Yeah. Como esta? Good, how about yourself? What is your name? Uh, my name is Sergio, what is your name? What is your name, baby? Sergio's so just, so just getting hit on by a ride the standing wheel ladies. What about me? Uh, Nobody's talking to me. Ride the camel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here comes another one. I'm being followed by two camels. I think this will be a good, good little thumbnail. Two camels behind me. Right. Hello, ladies. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. From our neck of the woods. I he probably is. am. He is. Where are you where are you from? We're from Washington State. Okay, I'm south of you guys. Where? San Francisco. Okay. In the one song it I don't know, I don't have no money. I just gave him my last fifty. <laughs> one song, what? Oh, you don't have money, no money. You don't have any money. Yeah, Marva, you're an old Indy. So it was a still a good day. Here comes a man running. He's charging at us. He hates floggers. He's a snake charmer. He's got a snake thing on his in his hand. <laughs> He's about to release the cobras if we don't give him any money. Let's see what scam this man brings. Namaste. Namaste, pero la cosa es que no entiendo inglés. Panimai Paruski. No sé qué quiere decir. Panimai. Panimai Paruski. Panimai Paruski. Do you know any Metallica? Bien poquita cerveza. Mira. Yeah, cerveza. No. Si quiero. No, no, no. No más. Ya me la acabé, quiero más. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. Absolutely not. I just paid my camel guy to go. No. We charge money to sit on the camel. Five hundred. Five. <laughs> oh man, he almost ran into T-bone the other camel. Get on the camel. No we charge money to sit on the camel. We sit. Charge money. We charge money to sit. You don't have money? Okay. Happy trip. What do y'all keep saying? Happy trip. What is that about? I'm a big vlogger. My name is Harold. 
Harold Balder. Okay. <laughs> after, after He's famous. I'm famous. famous cricketer. Oh. Yeah. He plays you cricket. Know. I play cricket. You know. India. It's not I no bueno. No Can good. Can car seat? Can car seat? No, we don't want. Can car seat? No, man. Okay. No problem. You said you got a camel taxi? Can car seat? This is no, parking. No, it's a camel. Just say. I'll, I'll help you out. When you see customers, Hello. when you see customers, you go. This customer. This no, is. This when, is. No, this. When, no, when you see people over there, I'm gonna help you. This is parking. Not for me. For me, no. When you see people over there. Hello. Go. You come here. Go. Sit go. Sit no. 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 How do no. you get customers? Okay, no, free. No, no, no. You see, Walk you for free. Customers? Yeah, free. Walking free. Free. Camel yes. taxi. Okay. Camel taxi, taxi, taxi. No, I don't want to sit. No, no problem. You sit. No, I don't want to sit on the camel. And if you see me walking, just say camel taxi. Next. I'm walking. Fifty, fifty, fifty. No, no, fifty. No, no. Sixty, sixty. No, no, sixty. Sixty. No, no, no. Sixty. Yeah, that camel does not look happy. Hello. No, no, sixty rupees. But come sit. No. Sixty. No. Sixty. He said free. Sixty. He said free. I'm not still not going with him. I'm not sitting on the camel, man. Look at that looking. Beautiful. I don't know if you could see anything at all, but look at these colors. Popping. I got it. Popping like the fucking flag. Trump 2020. Barundi. Trump 2020. What do you say? Say Trump 2020. Trump 2020. Barundi. Trump. 40. Trump. Trump 2020. Say Trump. Burundi. 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 We're here. Burundi. Trump 2020. Burundi. Huh? Say Burundi. What is Burundi? Trump. 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 No. First. 2020. 2020. Burundi. Burundi. Trump 2020. Burundi. Ah, huh? Burundi. Here, camel's going. Camel's going. <laughs> he wants to be free. <laughs> Look at that man go. Sand. Back and kicked <laughs> up a mile high. <laughs> Look at this fancy apartment inside of the fort. Homestay. That's what I was telling you. There are hotels and homestays inside the fort. You can live here. This is a city. This is what Jaisalmer used to be. It was the whole thing was inside. Keep going this way. This is German bakery. Art home oh. factory. So a lot of art artists. Uh, dorms available. I think I was told that there was a lot of artists in here. Yeah. Because uh, you know, through, so far on my trip, I haven't seen very many. Right. Not even in Sri Lanka. Yeah. Look, see, look. This is a facade. Look, look at this. Yeah, yeah, back. yeah. That is. You see the edge? Yep, yep. It's still impressive. Oh. I mean, <laughs> it's. It looks like it looks like it was 3D printed, but it's definitely not 3D printed. I'll tell you that. People did that, so I love the fact that they have the golden stone. Hey guys, check this out. Can't even explain how detailed. So these are the little bricks of uh, this golden stone that everything, or the whole Jaisalmer city is built out of so even this uh, little house has the same same bricks same golden bricks they just uh, cut them out in different sizes and use it for construction Shiva cafe I guess that's Shiva cafe right there well if you're gonna ruin the consistency of the city with a color you don't have my business you see the future of mankind sergio through this telescope you can see the future and uh the future is that in 12 years the planet is going to be destroyed you got to listen to inside the pigeon inside the pigeon's eyes dude i got to look up through look through that yeah it's more inside good collection yeah is it heavy for one hand no, it's, you it's good. <laughs> oh, shit. Too heavy. Holy shit. Thank you. Wow. 
That's incredible. Where'd he go? Oh. Can you close this up? How much is that? Money we have. Money we have. I feel like a pirate with that thing. You need a shoehorn? That's the 7,000. 7,000? Okay. And a little more. Oh, it's okay. You're gonna stab somebody? Nose picker? Yep. Without leather, they are the five thousand. Oh, it's okay. You got some old coins. Have a look for gold Some ancient coins. Look at all the doorknobs. Hello, what language is that? Where are you from? Where are they? Is that a place? Where are they? Nice to meet you. What a weird language. Look at that. I want to have one of these installed in my house. Save, uh, save the electricity. Yes, I agree. Whatever he said. Look at all these uh, doorknobs. Are you advertising your hotel in a different language? Do you have a small one? Small? Yeah. Is there a small one? This one, this size we have because then more smaller this one. Any small unless they don't work. No, no then they do. Small I've one, no it. work, no sound. No, I've seen it. No. They work. I mean, they're not as loud, but they work. What is it called? The singing bowl? Singing bowl. The Buddha singing bowl. You can play. What is this? That's storage. For your cannabis? Tiny artifacts. For your cannabis? Yes. Spoken like a true humble. What do you call them? People over there. Humboldter. What do we have? Alright. Okay. Just gonna buy a rose. Doorknob. Yes. This man is advertising his hotel in a different language. No. What What is your language? Do you have rooms? How much is it? No. No? Is it free? Free rooms. Come to this man inside the fort. You have free rooms. This is all iron. No, t like tin. Nail, oh, wow, it makes together. the sound of whatever you touch. Can you do this? What happened? No. Silence. No. You can't do it? What about elephant? Can you do it? No. What, 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 what channel are you watching? You gotta watch some Discovery Channel. Whatever it is, they're telling you the wrong, giving you the wrong information. There's a man with one arm, with a vlogging hand. That thing won't stay up one way, but he's got it to where he knows how it stays up. Ah. So you can only put it there. You gotta buy the floor too. What is that? Brothers, brothers, brothers. vloggers. More doorknobs. Let's check out what's here. You going that way? Dead end? Is there anything here? Goodbye. What do you What do you Ah, he understands me. He understands gibberish. All right. I think we have approached one of the fort walls, and uh, looks like another residential area. Jewelry. Cuckoo Coffee House. Sunset City View. Harium Jewelers. I want to take a picture of that. I definitely want to take a picture of that. Upstairs, so we're going upstairs. Check it out this way for jewelry shop. Also, sunset and city view. So, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go upstairs and uh, check out the view. This is a private residence, so you'll be trespassing if you go in there. But uh, this is what we're here for sunset and city view. Upstairs, there's kids here. All right, let's check out the, uh, the city view. Hello. Hello. How are you? Whoa. Whoa. Wow. That is incredible. What a view. 
there's a stadium down there. We had no idea. Look at all these golden buildings. The Golden City. Right in front of you. So we have this uh, incredible view. And this incredible house. And here we have the homeowner. Hello. Kakwa Zavut. I don't think she would understand any language. Say hello. Bye. 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 Say hello. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, she said bye. Let's go. Look at that house. That's where I want to live. I mean, even with the, all the moving walls, it is pretty. You can see how where the wall is wet. It's kind of uh, slouching a little bit. That's the that's the moving fort for you. All right, let's keep going. Are these cannonballs? I don't know. <laughs> For the biggest cannon in the world? Let's go here. Look at this yellow door. Oh. Deja vu. Back in the desert. Here's a little bowl. This is the one I was talking about, the small one. Oh, yeah. They got a little bell too. They got Kama Sutra for you perverts. <gasps> More Kama Sutras, playing cards. So, look at that. That's what we should have bought. One of these, full size. I think it's an artist. Uh... No, you write in it. It's handmade paper. You can't, I guess you could draw on it, but. I think that's what it's meant Oh, yeah, for. it's for, uh, yeah, tracing. For an artist. Yep, yep. Elbow massage. No, we're just, we're just looking. Just looking. Looking free. Yeah, looking free? No yeah. Oh, that's good. There is a nice city view. We like, there. Yeah, we saw. Yeah, we, we saw. Anything else? That's it. More, more city view here? City view, no, there. There is exit. Exit? You go, the, you find the main circle. Okay. Okay, that's where we're headed. All right. Yeah, thank you. Welcome. More postcards. People living here. So, it's hard to tell that you're inside of a fort. It just looks like you're just walking through an alleyway. What's that? This is a diary. Handmade papers. Yeah, we just bought one today. We have bought one. You bought leather diary? Small leather diary. Leather? Yeah. But this is a paper diary. No, but we already have it. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> thank you. If you thank like, you. then... We have many. Okay. This is a we have many patterns in this. Okay. Leather is a one color. Yeah. And this is a more color. Okay. okay. Maybe next thank time. You. Right. Thank you. You might want to get a little turquoise one for yourself or a thing. Why? <laughs> a turquoise. <laughs> Here comes some ladies. They have blue. They have lots of Yeah, but I'm okay with white. Hola. No response. I guess uh, the girls of. Jai, what, where are we here? Jaislamair Fort. Hate vloggers. I hate people with cameras. They don't talk to them. That's the, I think that's the behind. Whoa, there's a restaurant with a view. Hope we already ate. Look at that house. Take a picture in the balcony, only 10 rupees. Well, no. How's that? All right, we're gonna go to the uh, Sunset Point. I hope it's not the same one that we just came from. I don't think it was. I think it was just a view. So, what do you mean? So, that's one of the touts that uh, is gonna come after you for... We don't, we don't need a guide, I already told you. You wanna be on video? <laughs> yeah. Hello. No, we don't want a guide, thank you. 
There's a little leather shell. More of those. You see a lot of those in uh, in Jaisalmer. Some teas. Some bells. That's kind of cool. <coughs> Elephant on wheels. Fake cards. Oh, they got film for old schoolers, old timers. Cigarettes, tissue paper, random things on the streets of the inside of the fort. There's just so many shops, it's almost like a little marketplace. Whoa. Fixed price. Marketplace continues. It's fixed price. I mean, this is the reason, most reasonable I've seen. Yeah. It's the same size though. Right, you it got, is. That's 400. Fixed price. Well, there's, uh, we can go left or straight. I think we should go straight. You mean we system. can go right or we can go left? Right. Always go right. Always take the right. Right is the right way. Uh, not, not, not as, as good as well, we've seen the best work, so I think now this regular old paintings don't impress as much. Look at that. That's how you uh that's how you ride a bike in the fort of Jaisalmer. Another temple? This is old. Yeah, that's definitely old. This is new. Probably. Look at this big ass book. Who's got time for that? You gotta carry it. Ain't nobody got time for that. Buy a diary and write it. More temples. We have a, a kilo. can't go up because kilo. You can't go up because you gotta take your take your shoes off, which we don't want to do. Too much work. We won't be able to go to the sunset spot. Look at this, another temple. How many temples do you need? Many, many temples. One temple for each god. That's a million temples. Look at this door. For dwarves. That's what my inside my living room. Yeah. That's what their their old doors. Okay. Oh, nice little bench, private bench. What is this? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. What is this? To wash clothes? Water well. Water well. Water well. Where's the water? This side the roof marks from here. So where's the well? Well, it's here, it's no bad. By oh, they, we oh. are in the Indragandi Canal, water support. Okay. Are you going to be camera? a guide? Yes, this camera. Are you, are you trying to, are you going to be a guide? No. no? Just general knowledge? That's a smart kid. Uh, so where was the well? Right here? Or upstairs? Upstairs? Here, here. Oh, it was right there? Yeah. From here, the rope marks is here, then. So they pulled the rope the this way? Yeah. It's so, the same there. Oh, yeah. okay. They it's probably had to a... there, and then the, it's pulled by ox. Uh, ah, okay. It's you want to take that there, and the, you can see this. Uh, At the end? Straight the wall. Yeah, ending. yeah, yeah. There you want to take, then, then the one bucket is coming up. Oh, okay. Wow. So it must be very deep. Yeah. It's a lot of work. You know what? I am going to sit down on the golden throne in the city. For the king. Oh, that's why I, it's, I'm the king now of Jaisalmer, right? Where's my palace? I'm the king of the fort now because I'm sitting on the golden throne. It's for the Vyas. The cash is Vyas. It's making them holy. A Vasha and Sajad are like a king. Yes, I feel like a king. Definitely feel like a king. It will be sitting on it. Big throne. Except for the man trying to cough his guts out over there. Is this original? Is this old or is this new? It's old and it's new. You can see that carriage is like an architecture. It's just very costly, big poop and money guys. That one? Now this, every one time, it's in one month on this one. Wow. So this is a new architecture, and that is the old one. And this is just six worth of 
Who, this who is makes brand this? new. This is the architecture. That is the you can see the architecture in like leaves. That is very good. So the kid is telling us about this old little wall with all the details. Those are, that's the first time you see those corals underneath that that uh, will pop out. They're pigeons. Yeah, those little ones, beads. right? Yeah, with the beads. Right. That is Nice. How do you know so much? You should become a guide. My dad is ah. also a guide. Your dad is guide, so maybe <laughs> you guide, also. I'm also having the bookshop. I'm also yeah. having the hotels. That's awesome. Oh yeah. You, you have, there. You have a lot of information. I'm not to be a guide. You don't want to be a guide. What do you I want? I like in general. I like history. That's good. I like geography. I like history. I like. SSC. So you're gonna be. A we have a smart kid here. I want to. Be. He wants to be a traveler. That's awesome. So you're gonna be like. I like want us. to be a scientist. Oh, oh wow. That's why I'm hmm. exploring started from now on. That's very good, very good. Okay, you are in India or Sri Lankan? Sri Lankan. Do I look like Wonder Boy Jeremy? No, I'm Indian. You are looking like an Indian. Yeah, I am. He's also Indian. We're both Indians. Sri Lanka is out of India now. We're not from Sri Lanka. Why do you say Sri Lanka? India. India. We're both Indian. Which state? Uh, Rajasthan. City. Uh, Jaisalmer. I, I just became the king. I'm from here. You told me I'm the king. I'm kidding. I'm from Delhi. He's from the US. Yeah. I can speak. Uh, you can speak Hindi? No. Yes. Hindi bol sakte. Yes. To Hindi mein tum bol do. But he won't understand what we're saying. See, we're we're cousins. Yeah, we're cousins. Can you tell the difference? Your cousin. Yeah. Yes. We look a lot. We don't we look like we're kind of related? Yeah. No? Is that a no? <laughs> <laughs> he's pretty confused. But yeah. You are cousins. Yeah, we're yes. cousins. And he's also my cousin. Long lost cousin. Yeah. Sorry. We're all three of us are cousins. I'm just telling him that we're all cousins. <laughs> he Which has just come now and you it's are Sony. Yes. Is it the same as GoPro and why I force Kind of, yeah, yeah, huh? yeah. Because in better. comparison, I it's uh, better. better than all of those, yeah. 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 Much better video Second. quality. But then you can't review photos, right? You yeah, can. you got a... In phone, Wi-Fi connection. Yeah, yeah, you can do it on phone or you have a screen. Like, he has a screen. It passes here. Okay. So you can do that. But it's a pretty wide angle, so it gets everything. So uh, you don't, yeah. But how come, you know, like... What kind of like yeah. I know right now you're in the frame and he's in the frame, so and my because, foot might be in the frame. Yeah, his foot uh, might be because it's a wide-angle camera. 170. So, yeah, yeah, it captures everything. Yeah. So it's better than GoPro. Yes, much better video quality. Uh, yeah. Where are you all from? Uh, he's from here. There you go. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, yeah. He's still in the pajamas. Dress. He's going to be a traveler soon, so. <laughs> and you, Bibu? Huh? You're from India. Delhi. Yeah. He's the he king of Jaisalmer. I'm the king of Jaisalmer, so that's my throne. He just, an just anointed me as a king. <laughs> just kidding. You told me I was a king. Come man. on, you Come spoiled on. it. That's one day king, Walin. Holy. One, so Holy the day's come? not over. Let me at least enjoy it for a day. Holy, you want to come? You have to pay rupees. Holy. 50, I have to pay 000, to be a king? Be king. <laughs> what kind of king pays <laughs> money? 50,000. Who's it here? Yes, that's our cast. He's sitting for one day. There's some photographers coming through. Oli's dad. All right. Oli's dad. Do you want to sit? Where's the... I have a viewpoint. Where's the... Where's the sunset point? Straight? Wait. Straight? In first left. Is it near the jewelry shop? Is it near the jewelry shop? No? No? No, it's not that one. Let's go. Before the sun sets. Well, thank you very much for the information. What's your name? Nehal Bacha. Nehal. I'm Ashish. And that's... Uh, you live in Delhi, but you don't know Hindi. No, I don't know Hindi. I never go out. I never go out. He knows Hindi. He knows Hindi, too. Somos do. Panimayu. Panimayu Paris. Speak Hindi now, you are telling lies. I don't know. I speak Hindi, dude. I speak Hindi all the time. I make videos in Hindi. Check out my channel. I can't speak Hindi. Can you speak Russian? Panimayu Paris. It's my dad. That's your dad? Yeah. That looks like your brother. 
<laughs> yeah, he does. I would have never guessed. He's my dad. All right. He's a very smart kid. He's my brother. He's your brother. Yeah, yeah there you yeah. go. <laughs> now you're trying to pull our leg. All right. My son. Okay. We All right. Two okay. All right. We'll go to the sunset point now. Check out the view. Yeah. First left. Yeah. This is ugly. This is ugly. It's not that. It's like only cannon. Okay. I tell you honestly, if you're going that way, uh huh. When you finish that road, right hand side is called Sunset Cafe. Okay. It's not necessary to eat or something. Right, right. But you can go upstairs. Uh -huh. and we'll go have you. Do you have beer? Everything there. Oh, we'll awesome. have a beer. And that so, has the best view? Best view and All best right. sitting and the best nice. Right. That's awesome. Let's go there. Let's just go there. Go straight. Okay. When you finish the street, just to see the right, right hand side, the Sunset Cafe. Sunset Cafe. You. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Hey, how about. For for us everybody is good because yeah. we never having any testing for them. Yeah. We never made this kind of I have. This kind of paintings I have many. I'm not making you know, but I have many like that. Many like that, upstairs, canes, small. This is somebody is selling from Joker. From Joker? Oh. I have uh, some are very hand painted also. Okay, what time do you close? Today we close nine o'clock. Oh, okay. funny. Okay, we got a lot of money. All right, we'll come back. Thank you. All right, let's go to the. <laughs> Greta would be proud. Yeah. All right, let's uh, photobomb these guys. Sorry, guys. We're just gonna go to the cafe. Hundred meters. So let's keep going. It's quite a... So the man there told us that the better or the best sunset view is at the Sunset Cafe. So that's where we're headed right now as opposed to the, to the Canon Sunset Point. So it seems like there's like a couple of different sunset points in the fort. So we're going to go to the best one where there's a cafe and you can get things to eat or drink. So let's do it. Whoa, that looks cool. No, he said the end of the road. Oh, it's not gonna come. All right, Diamond Guest House. Look at this cauldron. That's where they boiled the people alive back in the day. All these dresses. Should I get one of these? I look like a hippie. All right. Yeah, that's what it's for. Got to be careful around these parts. Kama Sutra, everywhere. All right, let's keep going. Sunset Cafe. Who ruined their foot? <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Is this it? This restaurant, Sunset Palace. Is that it? You think? I think that's it. Restaurants in Capella. What? The art? Yeah. The one? Oh, yeah. The, right. the hookah. I think that's it. We're not at the end of the road. Sunset Cafe. Sunset Cafe, this one. This is it. Let's go. Huh? Alright, we're entering the Sunset Hotel to get the best sunset view. Whoa. Damn it. We lost. You guys are going to take the better seats now? You're ahead of us? I'm just kidding. That's it. Where's the sunset? It's locked in. It's not a rooftop. I'm getting scanned. Where's the rooftop? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, He's gonna take us back where we were. <laughs> what a scam. What is this? The sun is going to no, 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 no. What do you mean? That's what it's for. Oh, it is. 
Yeah. They have a rod going through it. Yeah. That's cool. Wow. What do you think it was? This one? Oh, from here? It's a secret. Right here? On the way. On the way. Oh, it's too dark. Inside. Inside. Yeah, I will open the door. Oh, wow. You're going in. I'll see you upstairs. All right. Let's go check out this, uh, the best sunset point. Or the best sunset spot in Jesselmere Fort. Here we go. Keep going. I love the, uh, it looks like everything is made out of those, uh, the local gold stone. Here we are. Wow. Well, the view is kind of similar from what we had earlier over there near the jewelry shop. I think it was right here. Yeah, the jewelry shop was probably over there. But here we are. There's uh, another little spot. So this is the sunset spot. The best location in Jaisalmer. There's another one over there that says best sunset view. All right, let's check out this VIP location. All right. Wow. This is incredible. Look at this view. Amazing. Too bad I can't get a get a thumbnail against that. Probably. I mean, I probably could. Holy cow! It's an arena. Yeah. That's what I think. Gladiators, baby. Missed it. Over there is the desert because we see the windmills that we drove past while coming back to the city. And there's some another fort over there on top of that hill. We didn't see that one. Yeah. No idea what that is. But uh, that's one more fort. What's up? Oh, hello. We keep running into you. You got a better spot. Do you have a better spot? No, but you're higher up slightly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Check out the view. Jesselmere, the Golden City. Amazing. Yeah. So that is a new Jesselmere City, and uh, within the fort we have the old one, which uh, was Jesselmere for 800 years, like uh, like I mentioned before. So I guess we're gonna sit here, enjoy the sunset. Have and some uh, have some beers. It's beer o'clock in Jesselmere. All right. Beat it. Look at this guy. He's after my shoe. This morning, another dog stole my shoe, and I guess he could smell it. Kingfisher lovers. Yeah, he took my shoe. Can you believe that? Look at this massive little dog. Not little. Hey, hey, I'm up here. Let my shoe go. I'm up here. This yeah, that's the camera. This is a lab. Look at this little investigator we have over here. What are you doing? How are you so big? You're the biggest lab I've ever seen. What are you doing? You live here? So now we're at the Sunset Point and uh, enjoying our little Kingfisher. King, unfortunately, we can fight King Femurs, so Kingfisher Lager. And uh, with this view. We have an overpriced beer. So, so that's it for the tour of Jaisalmer Fort. We're still inside the fort, if you believe me, or, believe me or not. I mean, that's the city outside, and we're inside of the fort. So, all right. Th so that's my last day in Jaisalmer. I'm heading back to Delhi tomorrow or tonight, and uh, yeah, I'll see you whenever, whenever I go out next, or who knows? Who knows? I can't tell the future. I'm not Greta Thunberg. I'll see you when I see you. You got the same locks? The lion one? No. You know, they only make them in one place, man. Yeah. That's yeah. it. That's true. Special discount for Sergio. He's a... You got a special discount. 
Special discount for dwarf people. He's got a... Do I get a discount? Yeah. Yes. His family's seven okay. feet. You can. How discount. much discount though? Fifty percent. I have something for gift for the dog people. For okay. Because, Is it gifts? Yeah, because it's very hard to find the dog people. This is less I I like the dog people. That's why I just yeah. this one for the dog. People. But what about normal people? Normal. People? I'm also normal. <laughs> yeah, we are normal. We should also get a discount. Because I, it doesn't mean that. Taller guy, I just said. It doesn't yeah. mean, but I, I'm so corner of the so top people. I like oh, the okay. top people. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> That's fair. Constellation. Delhi. Delhi. He's from the U.S. Okay. Look at that motorcycle. Badass. Yeah, Hello? I have it. We've seen it. Yeah. Little singing bowl. That is loud. He's got a bunch of. Uh... Oh yeah. Tricky locks. Tricky locks. So how do you open this one? Oh, trick box. Like this, oh, this and that. this lock are the same. I just that do it. That's a trick lock. Whoa! Mm. Wow. This I know, I just took it out. <laughs> it takes a long time to get inside. What if you won't have to pee? <laughs> and you're opening the lock, you're just twisting it for 20 minutes. How do you? Second one. First of oh, this one. then you put in the second key. This wow. One. Where's the second key in this one? First, like this, you open. Yeah, first this opens, and then you put it on side. It's like a puzzle. Puzzle. Puzzle lock. This one here. How many keys? Oh my god. Three key locks. Yeah, definitely don't want to use that if you want to pee. You're gonna pee your pants. Can I see yeah, this one? Me. It's the same. Yeah. So three locks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Same way to this close. First I just close. You gotta keep three keys though. These are big fat keys. Yeah. I mean, you gotta really hide something that's a very. Oh, there's a candle holder thing. Wink. Oh, it's getting the keys. Some more diaries. How much are these? This diary? This one is good. Finding a bit. If I directly tell you like this, you did not yeah. give me He's right. this one. You gotta so, be able to bargain. So uh, that's why I just started doing that. Have, have a little margin. I can, I can, if you don't like the bargain, so I can well, tell I mean, you. Some, so I can tell you some definitely mm -hmm. discount to you. No, I mean, I just, I was just looking at this man. Because mostly. The, one more thing, and now you're so India, so it is much for the diamond everywhere. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Let's see how we get into this lock. Shall be there so secure. Yeah. Uh, I, I know. I know. If I came up to a lock like that, I'd be like, yeah. I mean, I would just like. Forget this thing, yeah. right? You're never getting in. There's no way you're I mean, breaking into that. These, these totally fascinate me. I mean, yeah. so, so, you know, complicated. Yeah. You know, most people are just going to give up. Yeah. If they come up to a lock like that to try to break in, they're going to look at Three it and go, you know what? <laughs> Forget this. Screw this is this. too difficult. I'm going to be a lawyer. Right? <laughs> they're going to quit. Oops, almost dropped it in the... Are they all, do they all take the same key? Yeah. So the oh. other one has the exact same key. Look at how many keys it has. One, two, three, four, five, six keys. I think he's got a couple different sizes. It's the first you can oh, okay. open from here. Okay. So it is like a puzzle. It's like a... So I did take that off. You take that off first. first. Maybe stick that in there. First key. 
And that move, oh, there it is. There it is. Nice. And reels the second yep. keyhole. Okay. Second keyhole. And you take the second key. You gotta know which key. It feels like a game show. Like, can you open this lock in 10 seconds? <laughs> Five, four, three, go, go. Wow. <laughs> That's a complicated lock. Oh, there's another keyhole revealed. Wow. You win. You have won. <laughs> this man wins. One. That's how you lock it. Lock down. Second. And so that's, that, that screws on. Yeah. Now you should just do the last one. Get it And then that one goes down. Wow. Yeah, you're not getting into that lock. No. Yeah, better chances of breaking See, the walls down. That's what it's for. Look. Yeah, yeah. I mean, now it's just yeah. Close. yeah. Wow. If you're trying to break that lock, you might as well try and break the wall because you'll have better chances. Yeah, this, oh. this is for the this is hold and when you open yeah. the skin. Yeah, yeah. You can Incense. find in the Tortoise, some of the Ganesha. Yeah. yeah. Like Mango powder. Organic smokes. I know, but I have a lot of stuff already. Tobacco free initiative. Tobacco free cigarettes. Hmm. What could that be? Jean of the Little Bell. You have to hit a bell when you see it. Oh, the scorpion lock. Let's see how long you take to solve that puzzle. You already lost. Well, he's, he's got a key. Right? Oh, wow. Now it's a close. You yep. just have like this and yeah. push. So you're not pulling that apart. Right. That's People amazing. look at that. How the hell did you get that on there? Yeah. If you have that right. lock, nobody's messing with your house. You'd be like, dude, you are some sick son of a gun. People would be like, he's probably got bodies in his basement. Let's, I'm going gonna, gonna to try next door. So, so he, that thing goes in and squeezes it in. Yeah. So it comes out. This yeah. pops out. Yep. Yes. And it can't go beyond the two right. sides. It just locks the right thing in. Squeezes it. It's nice. And this is also. We saw we saw these. Okay. Yeah. You can't open like this. Okay. When did you do to this push, push, oh, push button? Oh, yeah. Wow. And like this. When is this? Lots of secret locks. <laughs> I don't think this one belongs here. Look, you can't even see. You can't even see it opens. What the hell? Where'd it go? <laughs> That's just a fish. And just tell me. Tell me. Let's tell me for the extra because. No, I, I don't know. That thing, I can't carry. I can't carry it. Uh, it's, too, it's too heavy. For example, for example, people still use these in their homes. Just put an LED in it. Put a modern test to it. This is old. Oh wow, that's that's about to fall any second. The floor is about to shift. It'll be cool though if the floor would shift while we were here. It would be nice to see. Pigeons have taken over the fort. Look at this old door from back in the day. There's a dead rat. There's a dead rat somewhere here. That's no rat, that's a mouse. Yeah, what a, same thing. Just oh, don't dude, step on it. Door. Who's behind that door? door, and door. That's a proper door. If you have that door and that lock, screw it. Nobody's getting in. All right. We're coming up to a little souvenir shop, by the way, it looks like. Oh, cool. Did you know, so I can visit the dead dog for 10,000. Oh, no, no, no. I thought they came specifically to make that offer. Keep going, okay? 
All right, so yesterday at the hotel, somebody recommended MM Khan, which is the best non veg, best chicken or non vegetarian food in Jaipur. So here we have, we're being invited. And these are the chefs of MM Khan. Yes. 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 Yes, yes. Can you guys say I'm from India? Ah, India. India, yes. <laughs> all right, so we have all the food here. And it looks, looks amazing. Oh, wow. This is all chicken? Yeah, chicken, chicken. Everything chicken? Everything chicken here. You don't have a kebab, no lamb? Ah, yes. You also have it? Okay. So look at the size of these uh, blades, though. Chicken, uh, chicken like, yeah. like this is roasted. Chicken tandoori? Yeah, this is roasted. Roasted chicken over here. Yeah. And then we're making a portion. Hello. 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 Chef. Hello, boy. <laughs> Chef's frozen. And here we have the uh, roasted chicken here. Yeah, chicken roasted chicken tikka. And this is? This chicken. Tikka, malai tikka. Chicken malai tikka. This is green tikka. Green tikka. This is red gravy. Tikka. Red gravy. It looks the same. <laughs> the same. Huh? This is fish. Fish. Not the same. This is fish. 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 Oh, okay. fish tikka. Fish tikka. This chicken tikka. This is chicken tikka. <laughs> and what about the red one? This so chicken tikka is roasted. Roasted chicken. The it's the same. This one. Yeah. All right. This chicken is this malai tikka. They even have fish. 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 Is it fish from the yes. lake or the river? River fish? Liver fish. Okay. See, they got a lot. So yeah, it looks, it looks really amazing. And what is this? What is this? It's chicken fry. Chicken fry. Oh, you even have curry. fried chicken. Jaipur fried chicken, okay. JFC. Fish curry, 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 fish curry. Fish curry, fish curry and yes. it's all mixed together. Yes. This garden, this lake, Waju lake. What is that? Very nice lake. Lake? Lake. Okay. We have the JFC Jaipur fried chicken, and we have the restaurant. And uh, yeah, we're gonna find out how good the food is. Yes, sir. Hello, how are you? Oh, fine. And you? Amazing dish. I'm yes. great. Thank you very much. We're gonna try your food. All right, we have a lot. Family room. Oh, we're getting special treatment. We're being pulled into the family room. So let's see what they have. Can we get a menu? All right. Let's. Kula Lassi. All right. Let's see what they have. All right. Here's the menu. We got the big table. How many people do we have there? Just two of us. Two? Yes. Okay. One of them. Not many people. You want to go in? Yeah. We'll, we'll both stay on the same side. All right. And I'll say this side. No, we're not getting a... No, 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 no speaker? No, no. <laughs> no music. We don't want any music. No music. All right. If you want, here's the menu. It's a big menu. Oh, wow. There's uh, two sides to it. All right. Let's see what we can what we can have here. Mutton. Chicken, so here's the menu. Rice, dried chicken. I think we should get whatever the best food they have and probably ask them what their best dish is. We can just get that because there's so many options. Mutton, 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 mutton. Chicken, chicken, chicken. So that's what the menu looks like. Uh, what is your best uh, best food? I think we have lassi. No, not uh, for it's the menu. What is the best food on the menu? Like best chicken food or is, uh, is chicken roasted? But this is chicken roasted. Yeah. No sauce. No sauce. If you want sauce with chicken, yeah, take whatever they were. And chicken changezi is the best. Chicken changezi. And mutton is the lamb. Okay. Balmas is the best. Okay. So. We've been given three options. Mutton wild mas, that's the best. Chicken changezi. And uh, what was the other one? Chicken roasted. Chicken roasted. So, uh, <coughs> what do you think? All right, sure. Mutton wild mas. Yeah, he said that's the best. And then the chicken changezi. What is that? One of the best. I have no idea. It's uh, with gravy, I think. Or with sauce, some kind of sauce. And then 
Another one is a chicken, uh, what was it? Chicken fry, I think. Yeah. Fried chicken? Chicken fry, yeah. So Jaipur, Jaipur fried chicken, JFC. So let's see what we get. What do you want to do? And, uh, you know, let's get roti for Yeah, we have it on the other side. We have roti and... No, but do they, do they come with it? Not also, none, but... No, but we, uh, we want roti. Roti with the, uh, with this, right? Whatever yeah. we want to get, okay? So this is with sauce? Yeah, Chicken chengezi, right? Sauce. Okay. If I want any sauce, I can try to try it. Yes, tandoori and chicken tikka. So he, he said uh, chicken. We have also fish. You said yeah, chicken fry. Right. Chicken fries are going to be dry. Okay. Yeah, and uh, chicken chengezi is going to have sauce on it. Is it so if you want it. What kind of sauce is it? What kind of sauce is it? Uh, I saw you have a lot of this one. <laughs> yeah, that's. I think it's <coughs> roasted chicken. Tandoori chicken is the roasted. Roasted, same. right. Yeah. Tandoori chicken, same? Yeah. No. Tandoori chicken and roasted both are the same. Chicken lollipop. What, what do foreigners normally get? Sorry? What do foreigners nor normally get? Foreigners? <laughs> and the roasted and also chicken tikka, malai tikka. Anybody want something? If the non is spicy, then we take. Uh, I like spicy. We want like spicy. Yeah. You want non spicy? No, we want spicy. Oh, okay. Non is spicy, the roasted and also. No, we want spicy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If you want spicy, yes. then it is chicken roasted and chicken tikka. But okay. chicken tikka is the uh, boneless chicken. No boneless more. chicken. Okay. And chicken roasted is the with boneless. Okay. So whatever. Can I get the tikka? Chicken tikka. We'll take chicken tikka. Okay. And uh, uh, can we eat roti with chicken tikka? You can? Uh, no naan? No naan? No, no. Let's get a rumali roti. Yeah. Rumali roti is the very thin. Yeah, very thin one. Very yeah? thin and some big size. Yeah. Okay. So let's get that. I'm going to get one of those. One roti? Yeah, one rumali roti and uh, one chicken tikka. Chicken tikka. That's what you're getting? Yeah. So go the same, yeah? <laughs> you want to get the same? Okay. Yeah, I want the same. Same thing. So Thanks. two uh, yeah, rotis. Nice no oh, oh, you got it. You got it. He's a smart man. <laughs> so can I also get a? What's good to drink here? Big sir, we have uh, Pepsi, Seven Up, Do you know, have any big, big bottles of, of soda? Water we have only one side, just one. No, uh, uh, like Coke. What do you want? Coke, Pepsi. Oh, yeah. We have also Lassi. It's very good. Yeah, we had Lassi in the morning. You want it? I think you can try the one Lassi. It's very good. No, I, I, I should probably just drink water. I just had that lemon water. drink with salt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Just, uh, you have any cold waters? Cold. This cold. cold. You want it? Okay. I want, I want a one cold. One normal. One. Just keep one. I want one. Okay. Refrigerated. Chacha. Cold food. I need chill over the water. So that's our food. How long is it going to take? Okay, that's it. That's it. That's all we want. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you very much. See, when you come to a local restaurant, people are so nice to you, as opposed to uh, a fancy place where they wouldn't be they wouldn't be so friendly with you. So now we just wait for our food to come. We'll let you know how good it is, and if it is indeed the best, the best chicken in Jaipur. Look at all these people enjoying their MM Khan chicken. So definitely looks like a popular joint. Anytime you see a lot of customers at a restaurant, that usually means it's a, it's a good restaurant. So let's see how long it takes for them to get our food. And uh, I'll see you guys when the food gets here. I thought that was ours. That looks good, man. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that's what it is. No, it's not. We got, we got, no, we got chicken tikka bones. This is our food. This is the chicken tikka with the green gravy. We got six pieces of boneless chicken. And uh, now we're just waiting for the Romali roti to go with the chicken tikka. It looks good. I'm sure it tastes good too. But uh, we'll wait and see. Do you want to just wait for the roti to come before we start eating?
So yeah, this is what it looks like. So that's what you get for 190, six pieces. We got a spoon. Now we're getting the special treatment out here. So let's try this. Here. I'm gonna break into this, take a little piece off. Man, it's hard. All right, there we go. Here's a little piece. Dip it in the green sauce. Are they both the same? No. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Burundi. <laughs> it is good. Has a little bit of. Oh, it is spicy though. We asked for spicy, we got spicy. That has a lot of flavor. How do you like the spice? A lot of, it adds a lot of flavor to the spice. So, there's a little piece. The green sauce. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. huh? good right? Look at this, from Ali Rooney. No Ali. Yes. Is it two? Two, two right? Okay. That's our Rodi. And uh, I think Serge is going to make a taco out of this. Are you? Yeah. You make Aaron. a taco. <laughs> Aaron? <laughs> I'm in India. <laughs> I like taco. All right. So let's see. They chopped up the chicken. It's going to take the, uh, the little Romali roti, little which is like thin. a super thin roti. It's so probably folded it up. Piece. Because I only have one. There you go. I'm just gonna make a taco. I just saw you make a taco of Indian food. Right, so this will be like my tortilla. That's a tortilla. And there goes the chicken on top of it. Alright, Harold, check this out. It's now awesome. take my guacamole. I don't know what this actually is. The best tacos in India. Made out of Indian food. Oh yeah. There you go. See? That's a authentic Sergio taco. That's how it's, that's how it's done. It's a real taco. How to make a taco with Indian food. <laughs> All right. Let me try it the the regular way. Let me try it and see what it's like. You do have to cut up the chicken because it would be impossible with the little roti. Right. So this is how you eat it, Indian style. You pick up the roti, pick up a piece of chicken, dip it in the, in the little sauce, and just bite in. Hmm. I feel like it makes it better. It's good food. Good taco. Man, I'm really struggling with the spicy food. They really made it spicy, the chicken. And uh, there's my savior. Oh. 
It is so spicy, this food. No, it's not that bad. I mean, I mean, I don't normally go for spicy food. You're sweating, you're telling me it's not that bad. It's perfect. It's perfect for him. He's used to spicy tacos. Oh. That is tasty. His tongue's on fire. Has a lot of flavor, but uh, the tongue's on fire. Pepsi does help though. But only for a second. Right back. Last one. Killed it. That's it. I finished it. The whole thing. Not gonna eat the onions. Not gonna eat onions. They were corns. Just how it's done. See? You got Empty. The whole plate. You didn't finish the sauce too. That's how you eat it. My tongue is still on fire. And I finished the Pepsi. here don't get this unless you're unless you're used to spicy tacos and stuff or if you're a fan of spicy food uh, oh, my, my mom would actually be proud of that meal she'd be like my mom likes spicy food too I don't know how she eats it but I can't uh, I mean the, we had this, we did the spicy food challenge in Delhi with Jeremy, and that wasn't this bad either. And that was supposed to be the spiciest food they had in the whole thing, in the whole market. But even that was, wasn't this bad. And if Jeremy would do with this, I think it would die after one. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's all I could take. So we were seated in the family room, right here. Yes, the family room. This is the family room. This is Mama. Yes. Mama. Yes, Mama. Old, okay. Old Mama. Old Mama. Mama comes, Mama but he comes. looks young. Yes. <laughs> and this is a regular spot where all the people sit. And uh, we got the uh, quiet room for some reason. We got the special treatment. The food was really good. I think the spices are going down now. And uh, yeah. Thank you very much, guys, for the food. Thank you. It was very good. All right. More chili. What are you trying to kill people? <laughs> no, no, it's okay. All right. Thank you very much, sir. So here it is. That was the uh, best chicken in Jaipur at MM Khan Hotel. This is a popular man getting selfies. So here we have it once again. Big portions. So that's the end of the end of the video for the best chicken in Jaipur. So if you want to have the best chicken in Jaipur, look for MM Khan Hotel. It's on this road. I don't know what this road is, but uh, yeah, that's where you come for the best chicken. These guys are serious about the selfie stick. They had us take off the. Take off our little tripod. Well, I guess we gotta hold it in our hands now. Or, uh, 
I think once we get in, we could probably stick it back on. Look at this. Look at how high that is. Whoa. Paintings on the wall. Recent paintings. There's the ticket counter. Check out the prizes here. Ticket counter number two. No way. You gotta go ahead, man. They're gonna. People are gonna keep cutting in. He did it again. This time we saved some real money. Because it would have been 600. So, so at this fort, it's 120 for Indians and 600 for foreigners, which is kind of ridiculous. <coughs> six zipline tour. What is a six zipline tour? The stunning views. How much is that? Doesn't say here. Probably going to be 500, maybe something like that. Is this for a zipline tour or it's the elevator? Elevator. So what's up there? Straight. Let's go explore that first. Well, let's go up and we can come down to yeah. see everything else. Right. Yeah. Right? Let's do that. Otherwise, it'd be a tiring ride. 50 rupees for a one-way elevator ride. What a ripoff. And there's no... Now look at how high it is, so they're obviously not going to climb all the way up. we got to take the elevator. So now... There's an elevator man. First floor. So there's two floors? <laughs> what the hell? You take it to your two floors. And there seems to be a lot going on. There's live music. Restaurant upstairs? Yeah. Free elevator for for restaurant? No? You can pay 50 again. Which is it? And that was the first floor. Now you gotta keep it closed. It'll randomly open. Next it. This side. Oh. Whoa. Right at the top. Tippy top. Right to left. Thank you, sir. Here we are on top of the fort, the second floor. Wow. And here we have the Desert Rock Park. That's where the uh, white marble fort is. That's where we were before. And all of this is Desert Rock Park. And uh, over here, you got the blue city. You can see the beautiful blue city of Jaipur or Jodhpur. God damn it. I keep saying Jaipur when it's Jodhpur. This fort is huge. Look at how far it goes down there, up here. And there you can still go up a little, I guess. The elevator doesn't go all the way up. There you have all the parking. Now I really don't want to drop my camera. I'll be screwed. Because they made me take off the little stick. And that's where we took the uh, took the photo with the statue and the horse. And here you have some cannons. Calling all hikers. Tickets 100 rupees. Three for school children. Here we have a little uh, cannon from the old times. 
we were a fan of cannons back then. I know how this works. Well, they've locked it up, so it doesn't work anymore. But they would fire a cannon down here. Take care of take care of anyone trying to get in. And we have another cannon. It's the same size, but it's uh, got a different set of wheels on it. But the size of this wheel. It's almost as tall as I am. But the cannon's the same size and this one's not blocked up. But what a view. Jodhpur. Here we are. And then you have this little whatever it is. Something going on inside. I think they have music or whatever. I know what this is. Maybe this is the old school, uh, the old school elevator. That's how probably they have people come up because I can't imagine them trying to climb up every time they have to come up. You wouldn't want to go down very much. And here we have the blue city down here. There's the lake. Our hotel's down there somewhere. You can see the clock tower. All the houses. And over there in the distance is the palace where we were. With the museum. Wow. What a view. Nice spot for what a windy, windy day. Look at all these uh, eagles in the sky. It is pretty windy. I don't think. I don't know if my muff can hold up Mine in this wind. <laughs> Mine will. The view from top of Mahargar Fort, Mirangar Fort. I keep screwing up the names. That is Jodhpur city. Down there somewhere is our hotel. There's a clock tower that you can't see. What a view. Is down that way? Yeah, this is the main area. Yeah. We're back over there. Check out this little view. <laughs> Ali Kano. What treasures do we have in here? Let's check it out. Whoa. Wow. This is where the, the kings would sit, or the royal family, and people would carry them. Yep. So that's all this room is, just a bunch of those things that they put on top of animals, I think, or the ones that people carry. Yeah, they could also put these on top of elephants. It says elephant howda. Yeah, it's shaped to be, to be put on top of an elephant. This one too, this is a simpler version of it. We have a little bit more complex one. Elephant how to check out this line holding on for dear life. That's probably what people look like on it. That is until they discovered seat belts. The seat belt sign is on. And we have the market. I don't see much being sold down there. So these are one of the ones where people used to carry instead of putting it on top of elephants. This is what it looked like. The royalty would sit in it and you'd have four or five people carrying it. Here's a picture. And this is what it looks like. Plenty of space in there. It's called Pinjas. This is for the ladies. Female Pinja. 
here's another one. A quick tip for you guys. If you're planning to do what we did today, explore like five, four or five places in Jodhpur in one day, keep Mehrangar Fort on top of your list because it's so huge that you'll be tired by the end of it and you wouldn't really want to explore as much as you would had it been the first place on the list. So come here first and then go to the other places because this place is, this fort is really huge and uh, yeah, you need a lot of time and energy to walk around. Yeah, that's what I want. So that is it for our Mirangar adventure, fort, whatever. I don't think we explored uh, nearly enough of the fort, but uh, that's because it is way too big. And uh, we saw what there was to see, at least a part of it. So now we're heading down towards the clock tower, down this way. It's about a, it's about a 13 minute walk. So we're gonna head down and relax edit these videos. Here's a last look at the city of Jodhpur from up here. Good morning from the Thar Desert in Jaisalmer. Hello. How are you? Thank you. Having a good morning? Good morning. Alright. So, uh, we are here in the Thar Desert, and uh, this was our camp where we stayed last night. And, uh, you know, not the most positive experience staying in this camp because of the owner. I mean, they were really nice before we gave them the money, but once they got the money, you know, uh, the attitudes changed. So, 